you must have seen Marc Marquez do this. And a lot of MotoGP racers do this. And definitely this. But what are they actually doing, and why? Here are 10 ways in which MotoGP racers master the corners. Number 1. Stand on top of the pegs. A lot of riders have probably heard about the technique weigh the peg, and specifically weighing the outside peg on corner exits for increased grip. Oftentimes it is described as pushing down on the peg, but I think this description is a bit misleading. What top level riders do is basically float in the saddle, meaning they are standing on top of the pegs and just grazing the saddle with their butt. What this does is allow the bike to move more independently from the rider, which allows the suspension to work optimally. It also enables the rider's legs to be a part of the suspension suspension system. A simple way to think about it is the way dirt bike riders stand up to allow the bike to move around below them and let their legs be a part of the suspension. MotoGP riders are doing the same thing, but it's not as obvious. Number 2. Body Position Follows Corner Speed in slower corners, MotoGP riders push their body as far to the inside of the corner as possible in order to shift the combined center of gravity of them and the bike as far in as possible. This reduces the lean angle of the motorcycle. It also causes an aerodynamic jawing moment that helps rounding the turn. But in some really fast corners, the aerodynamic drag can actually slow the riders down, so you see the riders adapt their upper body position after the corner speed. In some really fast corners, they look almost crossed up with their upper body centered on the bike. Number 3. Smooth Vision Most riders have heard that you should look where you want to go, and that you should be looking far ahead. MotoGP racers go well beyond this. Racers use reference points in order to engage the brakes at the right time, turn in, apex, and exit. The way a racer transitions between focusing on these reference points is very important. MotoGP riders transition where they look in a very smooth way, which helps with consistency and also keeping calm and collected. So they look at the brake point, transition smoothly to look at the turn in, apex, and exit, all in one flow. Number 4. Blip the rear brake for stability. The rear brake can be used to stabilize the bike at slow speeds, and the same is true for high speeds. Just when the rider releases the throttle and transitions the front brake and shifting down, many MotoGP riders also blip the rear brake briefly. This has two effects. The first is that it stabilizes the bike, and the second is that it facilitates the transition to engine brake that is engaged after having shifted down. Number 5. Reduce engine brake at the end of the race. You have probably seen the buttons that are on the handlebars of the bikes. One of these buttons controls the amount of engine brake that is applied to the rear wheel. At the end of races, the rear tire will start to wear out, and thus provide less grip. When braking really hard, load is transferred forward, which makes the rear wheel light and can cause it to come out into a slide. This can be used deliberately to point the motorcycle towards the exit and thus go through the corner faster. But too much sliding can also be a disadvantage, as it destabilizes the bike and forces the rider to settle the bike down before properly turning in. So at the end of races, when the rear tire starts getting worn out, racers will reduce the amount of engine brake applied to the rear wheel so that it doesn't slide too much when braking. Number 6. Adapt riding style to tires. If you're really into MotoGP, you often hear riders talk about the tires. This is because the way they are constructed influence the riding style which will produce the fastest lap times. The tire's carcass stiffness has a big influence on how hard a rider can be on the brakes, how much grip they have during extreme lean angles, and how hard they can accelerate on the exit. A stiff carcass tire allows for continuous high cornering loads suited for a rounded off progressive cornering style and line. Softer carcass tires that flexes a lot under load are suitable for a squared off V line, with a short amount of time leaning over and aggressive opening of the throttle on the exit. Number 7. Brake with slight lean angle. Remember we talked about carcass design and how it affects riding style. What can a pro rider do if the carcass is really stiff and thus does not deform enough when braking in a straight line? They can brake really hard with a small degree of lean angle to force the tire to deform and thus maximize the contact patch. You often see Marc Marquez using this style of braking to get every bit of performance out of tires. Kinda crazy, huh? Number 8. Clear Mind 
Have you ever heard racers talk about what they are thinking about while racing? Most of them report that they are thinking about things like what they're having for dinner tonight and not about the race. This is because the skills they are using are stored in what is called procedural memory. Procedural memories are unconsciously recalled, in other words, doesn't require consciously thinking about the task at hand. This is what we use when we, for instance, ride bicycles. We do not have to actively think about what we're doing when riding the bicycle. We do it automatically. It takes deliberate practice and tons of repetition to store a skill in procedural memory. And that is how MotoGP riders acquire their almost inhuman-like abilities. Some researchers believe that the best athletes and musicians excel because of their superior ability to form procedural memories. Number 9. Push their elbow into the corners. The modern racing style you see MotoGP riders use is to push their upper body into the corner to a great extent, which as you know is to reduce the lean angle of the motorcycle as much as possible. To get the upper body into the corner properly, the riders push their elbows in, and when leaning far enough the riders drag their elbow against the tarmac. Number 10. Use the rear brake on the exit. In order to keep the front end down when accelerating out of corners, some riders still drag the rear brake on the exit. Dragging the rear brake just a little bit settles the bike down. The wingless you see on modern MotoGP bikes helps with this phase of cornering to keep the front end down, and will probably render using the rear brake on the exit obsolete one day. Remember to subscribe to my channel, there's always something new to learn. It's gotta be against the lot of look this damn good.